the centre of my practice is a sense of something that's been built up out of a lot of layers, different kinds of references and materials and texts and ideas. I feel that I'm asking photographic questions of sculpture and, and then sculptural questions of the photographic and it's somehow between those, those sort of forces that I think I'm, I've sort of found a way of practicing. The works as a whole in the show go from 2006 till more or less now. I think they kind of usefully um, show a kind of a moment of really important development for my practice which was until the point of the first photographs um, here, the small photographs covering for example, uh, where I was had always worked with found objects and that came from some time I spent in Athens before the Olympics and was for the first time really making photographs in the street but <clears throat> of the changes and kind of temporary structures and things I kind of found which led to me um, taking into my studio a few materials that I found in the street and that led to infirm and um, stool towel and a series of studio works but still with um, found objects essentially but that m moment was one of transition from then on I more or less wanted to make all my own objects which would become the subjects of photographs and then increasingly objects in their own rights. I often find that one of my methods for working is that certain photographs might lead to making a sculpture which might in turn lead to another photograph. Photographs are my craft in terms of actual making. For me more the objects are something that my interest is, is in finding the way to design them which comes out of literature and the everyday. And, but I think that there's a, a benefit in some ways to not being a master carpenter for example in that I imagine ways of making things which might be slightly odd to a carpenter. I've been working recently with a semi-retired carpenter, decades of experience. Brocken is a good example of his work. The fittings of the brass hinges is for me just very beautiful and a display of craftsmanship. So I bring a kind of innocence to things and I think also I've held on to my innocence with photography. I came to photography through art school, not through photographic course and so I think I like artists who come to photography this way. You sort of defend your f creative freedom to kind of play with it as a medium. And most of my photographs are made from negatives that photographers put their hands in the air when they see them. And I've been told uh, that the the paper bag photograph I was told I couldn't print, and it was one of my most important works that I printed without. Um, so I think those this kind of innocence in a way that keeps you free. The structures and materials in a lot of ways all tend to come from the everyday. I almost always take my sort of dimensions from life in a sense. The trough box, the dimensions are uh, taken directly from the long cardboard boxes that my photographic rolls of paper come in and they look a bit like the troughs that I roll my paper through to print and you have a sort of sense of this kind of dark pool and a kind of most oceanic potential for what you could do in there. Uh, the shelves, in a specific way for me, um, to do with my, my relationship with my um, parents who are um, now retired and um, so that relationship's changing and uh, it's a, a kind of love object for them. Uh, very everyday, very sort of low-key, a very simple kind of design but based on the uh, dimensions of my parents. The question of sort of black or dark humour is something that has always come out of my a sort of ongoing experience of life and but particularly connects I think to when I was uh, young and I first read Samuel Beckett and identified with some of the humour and it was always about a kind of presence of objects, a kind of comic interaction with those things that I took from and have held sort of strong ever since. Um, the acquisition came at a kind of interesting moment for me in that for about four years preceding it I'd almost exclusively been showing seeing regularly abroad. Around the time of the acquisition I think there was a sort of for the first time a kind of interest here, an institutional interest in my work. The Arts Council collection coincided um, with a sort of lovely year of um, presence in, in England really. Mm -hmm.